and Hudson just woke up. So um, he didn't want his milk. He's been going through a phase where he doesn't want to drink his milk in the morning or at night. Um, so he has juice, which is juice and water, about half and half, and then a banana and some Cheerios. And he's just eating breakfast and watching some cartoons so I can get my day started. Okay, so I have been doing the Advocare 10 day cleanse. Um, so today is day five, and I have my Spark, which is kind of just like a, an energy drink thing that they give you. Um, it's got vitamins and it's supposed to help give you energy. And then it's a probiotic that I have to take in the morning. So this is my first step of the day. We gotta go get Susie, she's awake. Say good morning, Cece. Good morning, Cece. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? You're so happy in the morning. Are you ready to get up? Are you ready to get up, Neil? So it's 7.50 and I had to go ahead and get her dress because she had leaked her, uh, her diaper leaked and so it was on her pajamas and on her sleep sack. So I got her changed. I went ahead and stripped the baby's sheets, both of their crib sheets, so I can do some laundry. And now I'm going to feed her first though. Okay, it's 7.55 and Hudson, of course, he's going to stop as soon as I get the camera out, but he was dancing. He loved music and is always dancing. You dance? Dance? Dance. I love it. And uh, she is drinking her bottle and then as soon as she finishes I'm going to throw the laundry in and then we are going to go for a W-A-L-K. Um, they love going out in the mornings. I love being in the stroller. I can't say the word because he knows what it is and he will go stand by the door. I'll show y'all in a minute before we get ready to go. I'll tell him we're going and he gets so excited. But so I've got a couple things to do before that. Um, and we're gonna do that before nap time. Hold her bottle in. Oh, thank you. You're such a big helper. You're such a good big brother. Yeah, she put it in her mouth. That's so sweet. Okay, I think she's done. Okay. Thank you. I did you Yeah, you helping her? You gotta put it in her mouth. Get in there. Thank you, Bubba. Okay, so it is just after eight, and my mom is actually going to join us. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Go for a little walk with us. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for our walk, which all we have to do to get ready is I have to get dressed. And then we're gonna walk with her, so I will do the laundry when we get back. Hudson, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah. Yeah. He says, let's go. Where's mommy's shoes? I gotta have my shoes. My shoes. He knows my tennis shoes and not my sandals for when we go for a walk. Thank you. You bring me my shoes. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Buckle up. That's right. Do you buckle? Look. Do this part. Hook it in. He's at the age where he tries to buckle himself in every time. You gotta hook it in the bottom part. Okay, I 
I've got my Fitbit attached to my shoe so I actually get points for the steps I take. That's the bad thing about having to push a stroller, you don't get the steps. I've got my water with a crystal light in it, my sunglasses, I'm gonna turn some music on. We got the babies, we're ready to go. Showers, so typically he'll go in and then the home buyer or the agent will go with the last part of it. So that done and planned and that should happen. If you, if you got punished some way, you need to go forward with it, not backwards. Okay, so we're finally headed back home. Things never go as planned, um, but we went by. My mom was at my aunt's house. She had to take her the mail because they had been out of town. And so then my aunt was like, oh, come back by and we'll give Hudson some breakfast. Even though he's already eaten because, you know, they're more like grandparents than aunt and uncles. And so they always love to feed, feed the babies. So we just had to stop there for a little bit. So now we are headed home. I was hoping to be home by nine, but uh, we'll go home and they will get a nap. Okay, it is now 9.40 and I just put Hudson down. I laid him down to take a nap and I am going to um, try to rock her. Sorry for the crying. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm going to try to rock her and get her to sleep. Let's pray. This So please excuse this mess. I'm going to get a shower in just a minute. I just got McLean down for a nap. It is, I think, let's see. Hold on. It's 9.50. And so um, they're both now down and asleep. I'm fixing some hard boiled eggs. I was supposed to have breakfast earlier. But having two kids, you don't always get to eat when you're supposed to. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and then um, I'm going to try to take a quick shower while they are still sleeping. Okay, so it is now 1020 and I just finished eating breakfast. I had some hard boiled eggs and now I'm trying to motivate myself to go take a shower. I uh, need a shower and the kids are both sleeping, but I for some reason I'm just having a hard time getting going this morning. And I just want to sit here, but this is my chance to take a shower, so I've got to take it. So I'm going to run and take a shower real quick so that I can do the laundry. Because our house is an older house, and, um, you know, the plumbing when it was built is smaller plumbing or whatever. Oh, wow, my hair <clears throat> looking crazy. So um, you can only, like, take a shower or wash laundry or do one thing at a time. So I'm going to take a shower, put on some makeup because I look pretty bad and then I will do that laundry that I was gonna start at like 7 30 this morning it is 11 20 and she just woke up from her nap needing a bottle so I'm hoping that she will drink this and go back to sleep because she did not get a long enough nap so hopefully she will go back to sleep after this it is 11.45 and I've given up on trying to get little Miss back to sleep. So I just put her in a little exerciser so she can play and get a little activity and then maybe she'll want to take another nap. But as of now, Hudson is still asleep. So it is now 12.30 and she has moved the other exerciser. I took her out and held her for a little while. and. She's just kind of getting bored, but her playmat I've got to clean. She spit up all over it, and so it's over there. If I've got to wash it, I keep forgetting to. I'm about to switch over the laundry from the washer to the dryer, and Hudson is still sleeping. So I know he'll be waking up any minute now, ready for lunch. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I can before he wakes up, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for lunch that is detox friendly. Oh, I'm so tired of this. <laughs> okay, so it is just after 12.30 and Hudson, or 12.40 I mean, Hudson woke up and is ready for lunch. And I was going to make him a peanut butter sandwich, but I realized the bread was moldy. And I desperately need to go to the grocery store. I'm out of most everything he will eat. 
Um, so I gave him some apples, some pretzels, and some peanut butter. And hopefully that'll be enough at least to last him until we go to the grocery store. Is it good? Is it good? You like peanut butter, don't you? He loves apples. You're so excited. You're so silly. Okay, it is 1.30 now. And we... Gonna shoot. We are just hanging out. Sorry if it's super bright. Um, we are hanging out and just playing. He um, finished lunch and is just messing around. I've been texting with Hudson's birth mom. Um, we were talking about some stuff. And then I was sending her some pictures. And he is just... Being a silly boy. You gonna dance? Look at those dance moves. Yeah. He is such a little entertainer. Um, so, yep, we are just hanging out now. I was gonna go to the store, but for some reason today I just have zero motivation and the lack of want to do anything. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll go to the store. Maybe we won't. Okay, it is like 1.50 um, and she is clearly ready for a nap. She's been fighting it today for some reason. So, I am about to try to get her down for a nap. It's about 20-30 minutes before she should have her next bottle. I might go ahead and give it to her now just to kind of fill her up and hope to help Ugh. Hopefully help her take a good nap. So we'll see. It is now almost 3 o'clock. And, <clears throat> excuse me, both of the babies are down. And she is asleep. He is still kind of just playing in his crib. But I sometimes just put him in his crib with a couple little toys. Uh, soft toys in case he falls asleep on them. Um, and he'll just sit there and kind of play. Just have that little alone time. So he is still just kind of sitting there playing. Um... She is asleep, and I've just been straightening up some. I just started another load of laundry, and yeah, I'm just sitting here doing nothing because I just, I don't feel like it. I did, um, I had a little snack, some, the rest of the egg whites, because this morning I did four eggs, and I went ahead and ate all of the egg yolks and a couple of the egg, like a little bit of the egg whites, um, so I just finished the egg whites, just trying to have something to eat, <laughs> um, but I did, it was encouraging, I did weigh myself, or not weigh myself, um, I weighed myself this morning and I am down just over a pound, which, you know, was kind of discouraging. I was hoping to have lost a little more than that, being that I've been so good with sticking to the strict, like no sugar, no dairy, no white bread, you know, nothing processed. But I measured myself because I did measurements for my chest, my like natural waist, my belly, my hips, and my thighs. And I in total have lost like two and a half inches. So I was really, really happy with that. Really kind of um, was not expecting that much of a drop. So I was excited about that. And yeah, so I fixed another glass of water. I feel like I drink so much water. I feel like my face looks kind of puffy just from all the water I've been drinking. Usually when I first start drinking a lot of water, like my face is puffier and I feel kind of just like more bloated. Um, and then like after a couple days, it starts to like clear out. But yeah, so I just feel like, I feel like my face looks puffier today. But yes, I just fixed, this will be my, let's see, this big water bottle. 
that is uh, 23.7 fluid ounces and this will be my second one of third one of those for today and I had then another just you know the regular water bottle that I had spark in this morning so yeah drinking a ton of water which means I'm peeing a ton and so especially during nap time I'm like trying to sneak in and be quiet because um I have to walk past, you know, one or both of the baby's rooms to get to a bathroom. So that is definitely a hindrance to drinking so much water is I do not want to wake them up while they are asleep. Luckily, we've been good so far and I haven't woken them up, but it's always a risk. Okay, it is now 3.45 and McLean just woke up. Hudson is still sleeping. Well, now, of course, he's sitting up. He has not been napping good this afternoon. Um, so I've got him still in his room. He's not making any noise. I'm hoping he'll go back to sleep. Uh, but I am just, I've just put um, McLean in. This is a beanbag chair. Just kind of made a little place for her. And she's playing with a toy. And I'm trying to edit the last day in the life video I did. I've had so many computer problems lately. Um, my charger, I've been through three chargers in like the last month, month and a half. So, hopefully this charger stays working and I can get stuff done because I have several videos to post um, and I'm trying to do this day in the life from like three weeks ago. So, hopefully that will get posted soon. Um, but So, we're just hanging out waiting for Hudson to wake up. Okay. Of course, she's going to start messing around as I try to do a video. It is now uh, 4.20. And she um, is playing with her toys. She's kind of getting bored. Um, Hudson is waking up. Um, he woke up when my husband came home. And now he, he'll lay down and then he stands back up. So I, sorry. Probably can't hear anything I'm saying. Um, so I'm trying to see if he's going to go back to sleep. Hey. Hey. And um, I need to feed her. She is eating some baby food now, so I need to feed her since she's getting hungry. But, uh, yeah, so what I was saying, um, Chase got home from work and he had to run to the grocery store. There were a couple things we needed, so he just left to run and do that. And I'm going to try to feed little Miss Fetsa Pants here and see if that will make her happy. Okay, it is now 4.35. And I put her back over here. I just fed her. Um, I ended up just feeding her in her little um, summer activity chair. I don't know if it has like an actual name. And now, of course, she's going to start fussing because I'm doing a video. <laughs> she wasn't fussing at all. But uh, I usually feed her in her high chair. She tends to eat better and make less of a mess. But it is in the playroom, which can get really echoey. And it's next to Hudson's room. So Hudson did go back to sleep. So I just fed her in here so that we would not interrupt him. And it's hard to feed her um, so one-handed and take a video. So I don't have a video of her eating um, because she still is, you know, learning what to do and it's kind of messy. We've only been doing baby food um, once a day, every day, every other day for two weeks now. Um, so she, you know, she's still a beginner, still learning how. So she's moving around and making a huge mess and sticking her hands in her mouth. So it is just not easy to feed her and video. And she's a little chunk. So once you get started, she doesn't want you stopping and taking pictures and other things. She wants, you know, the food. <laughs> so um, that, yes, I just fed her some sweet potatoes. And now I put her back over here. And I put that underneath her just in case she were to spit up anything. Uh, so we don't get this chair dirty. But she's just playing. And Hudson is back asleep, and I'm back to trying to, um, I've got to download a clip that was on my phone uh -huh. so that I can do this last day in life. This has been, oh, the biggest hassle. I just want to get it done and get it put together, but it is not easy. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing, that's, that's Ella, the little girl that I kept, but she's now out for summer, so, um. Look at that sweet thing. She loves those little rice rusk, um, those little crackers. I've given them to her like two times, and she loves them. But now she's going to talk. 
So I'm going to go play with her while this is all downloading and he is sleeping. Can you say hello? This little pumpkin just woke up. It is 4.45 um, and he is up so I'm just going to let him be up. He didn't get a good nap but I'm going to just keep him up now until bedtime. And now I hear Sissy crying. Okay, it is five o'clock and we're just hanging out. She's hanging on my lap. Look at those chunky little thighs. Chunky thighs. Um, Hudson is sitting on the floor with a snack on his chair because that's more comfortable. They're just watching a little bit of TV. Uh, we're still waiting for Chase to get back from the grocery store and then we're going to have dinner. Um, so I will try to film some of their um, nighttime routine. They got both got a bath last night and we've been inside all day because it's kind of, we were supposed to go to the splash pad with some friends of ours, but I don't know if you could tell, it's like gonna rain and just not been good weather. Um, so besides our little walk, we've been stuck inside, so they probably will not get a bath tonight. Um, so I will try to film some more, but I always forget and then I don't have any kind of thing leaving or you know to end the vlog so hopefully we're in frame here um but yeah thanks for following along our day in case i don't see you again and good night say goodbye you say bye uh -huh. say bye bye there you go bye blow me kiss bye bye oh i hope that was on the video so i know i said goodbye in the last little video but I was just gonna take another one it is um, just after 8 o'clock and I am out of the house by myself um, the kids we put the kids to bed and Chase is there with them I'm running to Target because I am returning um, I got that little the grass drying rack and I like it I just got the smaller size and it is just not uh, feasible for us with bottles and sippy cups we need the bigger one so I'm going to take it and exchange it for the bigger one and hopefully that'll work better for us so I am headed to Target now and well actually I am stopping on the way and I'm gonna get a chocolate chip cookie which I know if Lauren if you're watching this I'm cheating and I know I cheated earlier with a bowl of cereal but I'm cheating again with a chocolate chip cookie and I'm pretty excited about it. This cookie is totally worth it. Okay, so it is just after 8.30 and I'm now on my way home. I was able to get the um, large drying rack. So now I get to go home and clean my kitchen from dinner and um, put it out and put everything back on it that I had to take off of the smaller one and today has been one of those days that my kitchen when I woke up this morning was really clean and now is a disaster um, Chase helped make dinner he grilled steaks and so that means that he made a huge mess so I'm gonna go home and clean up that mess and put this together and yeah so now this is my final goodbye for the vlog bye guys